What's another one? Oh, well done, Miss Colburn. And what do we do with our specimens, Miss Hayward? We shall examine them like malacologists. This silly dress. I wish I could wear my short breeches. They would be rather more practical. Father says it's unladylike. My mother says a woman should dress appropriately for whatever activity she is engaged upon. I'm not sure my father would agree with that. Is she still alive? Your mother? Yes. She is. I don't miss mine, before you ask. Although father doesn't even like us to mention her name. What do you remember of her? Nothing. She died when I was a baby. You must miss her a little. Can't miss what you never had. Of course you can. For example, Miss Hayward misses the husband she doesn't have. Don't you? Can we really make a home for the water sonars? Of course. Now, if we could find a magnifying glass... I suspect there is one in your father's study. Oh, Miss Colburn. Leonora, it's customary to knock. What is so urgent? Look. Snails. Water snails, sir. We collected them from the pond to examine them more closely. We were in want of a magnifying glass. Really? Well, one snail, one magnifying glass, which I shall need back. Thank you. We're being malacologists. Would you like to see our other specimens? Tempting as that is, I shall have to decline. Come, Miss Colvin, your father is busy. Miss Hayward. Forgive me, I must have been unclear. I thought I engaged you to make a young lady of Leonora. That is precisely what I'm doing. By trawling ponds for mollusks. I'm widening her knowledge. She has no interest in embroidery, sir. And you see how engaged she is. If you could just spare a moment to let her Thank show Thank you, Miss Hayward, but you are here to further the girl's education, not mine. Then I shall leave you to your work, sir. Planorbis calanatus, keeled ram's horn. If you're going to be malacologist. You might as well use the correct terminology. <laughs>